I always wear a little black cardigan. Today it's not <laughs> black, I don't know why. I was thinking it's okay to make like a more like a pale color, but normally it's a black little piece of cardigan. And also I have something that I always have with me. It's a little um, lucky little uh, bonhomme in plastic when I was a little girl of four years old. I, I keep it like a secret, like uh, I touch it before the contest, I touch it. It's always with me. <laughs> you know, I didn't have a lot because uh, I come from a family of five brothers. My brother were kind of like um, hippies and if I want to go in something like really wrong, they say, ah! you look terrible and ugly, change it. So they go to London, they buy jeans for me, little leather jacket, and I was kind of a cool with Levi's uh, kind of uh, dressing little girl during the hippie times. So there is no styles that I don't want to see coming back because as a fashion designer, I think style, it's about the moment. So something that uh, it's a eternal return. So something can be out of fashion today and uh, tomorrow you're going to be in. So that's what fashion is about. So there is no, I'm not, I, I'm not fear of doing mistake in fashion. Actually, mistake can bring like really good things in fashion. It's a secret, did I suppose to say? <laughs> okay, so I love to go in a little restaurant in Brooklyn Heights and uh, have a, um, it's like a Cuban place on a court street. I don't remember the name of the restaurant. It's Cuban and uh, you have the wonderful mojitos there. I love them. <laughs> I don't dream to go to a special closet, but I would love to go to the archives of uh, Yves Saint Laurent, um, Madame Gré, and, um, and uh, all this uh, uh, Balenciaga, Dior. I think if I can go there and find the drawings and the fabric and the inspiration behind the collection, it would be my dream. Because the way that people work before in fashion, it it's still makes me dream.